Alright, this is 5th grade, module 2, lesson 1, and uh, in this lesson we're going to be multiplying multi-digit whole numbers and multiples of 10. So we're talking like th things like 30 times 40, and we're not just going to teach a trick. Uh, oh, 3 times 4 is 12, and then add two zeros. No, we're not going to just simply teach the trick. We're going to really try and help students learn... Um, uh, this rule through place value and observing patterns. All right, so in the in Engage New York, the big theme is uh, l units. It's called a story of units. So when we see that uh, forty three times thirty, so really what we're going to do is we're going to think of thirty as three tens, and we're going to think of forty three as 43 ones, all right? And so when we multiply, we're going to do 43 times 3. So over here, 43 times 3, and we get 129. So that's going to be 129 tens. And 129 tens is equal to 1,290, all right? Uh, because if we were to do a, a place value chart, and here's our ones column, our tens column, our hundreds column, and our thousands column. 129 tens would be like right here. There's 129 tens, but that, uh, like well, this is this one essentially is equal to a thousand. And then this 2 is really equal to 200. And then this 9 is 9 um, tens or 90. So we would end up with 1,290. And then we'd have no, zero, uh, no ones left over. So that's how we get move from 129 tens to 1,290. So taking a look at this example, 430 times 30. Well, that's 43 tens times 3 tens, so that's still 129, because 43 times 3 is 129. But 10 times 10 is 100. So this is 129 hundreds. Um, and so 129 hundreds, if we were going to look at a place value chart, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, 129 hundreds would be the same thing as one ten thousand, two thousands, and nine hundred with nothing in the tens or the ones place. So 129 hundreds is really going to be one, two, nine, zero, zero. So 12,900. Now I'm going to do a little bit of erasing here so I can keep moving on. And let's do, oh, let's skip down to uh, question D. So we've got 4,400 4, times 400. So what they're saying is 4,400 is really 44 hundreds. 400 is really 4 hundreds. So then when we multiply 44 times 4, we get 176. And they knew that. That's why they gave it to us already right here. Now, but what's our units? Well, it's going to be 100 times 100. And we've learned that that is going to be, and let's see, 100 times 100 is 100, uh, 10, sorry, 10,000. So it's going to be 176, and really we would call it 10,000s. 10,000s. And then when we we get that, that's going to be when we convert it to like number form, 176, and then we're going to have, there's our four zeros. So it's going to be 1,760,000. Ultimately, keep in mind that students are going to learn that really classic shortcut, but we want them to understand why it works in the first place. So this is eight tens, this is going to be five thousand, so this is going to be forty ten thousands, which is going to give us 
40, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, there's our answer, 400,000. All right, so we're going to first find the products, uh, show your thinking. The first row gives some ideas. All right, so in 80 times 5, we're going to think of this as 8 times 5 times 10. So 8 times 5 is 40, times 10 gives us 400. All right, let's try another one. So we could think of this as 8 times 10 times 5 times 10, and then that looks like a 16 times 10, and then we can use the commutative property to do 8 times 5 times 10 times 10, so this becomes 40 times 100, which gives us 4,000. All right. So at this point, we're really looking at, at using that shortcut. And then um, 800 times 500. I'm going to do a little bit of, I'm going to move it down here. And I'm going to do a little bit of commutative property. Well, no, let's do 800. 8 times 100 times 5 times 100. So we're going to take the 8 and the 5 and multiply, get 40 times. And then we're going to take the 100 times the 100 get 10,000, and then when we multiply, we're going to get 400,000. And then the last time. Uh, now, at this point, we should be seeing a pattern. We should see that 8 times 5 is 40, and then we have 1 zero, 1 extra zero. We should see that 8 times 5 is 40, and then we have a zero here and a zero here. And sure enough, we've got these two zeros showing up down here. And then lastly, we're going to do it way over here. So we've got 8,000 times 50. So we know that 8 times 5 is 40. And then we have these three zeros and this zero. So that means we're going to have four zeros. And so the answer is 400,000. Quick practice with uh, an actual word problem. Concrete stepping stone measures 20 inches square. What is the area of 30 such tiles? So basically, you've got a square here. It's 20 by 20. Then you've got another one, and then another one, and another one. And we're going to have 30 of these tiles. And we need to find the total area of all of these tiles squares. Well, the way you find the area of one tile is you do 20 times 20. Well, we're learning how to do that. We know that 2 times 2 is 4, and then we've got an extra 0 and an extra 0, so that's going to be 400. So this area is 400, this area is 400, this is 400, and this is 400. How many 400s are we going to have? We're going to have 30 of them, because it says so. So now we have to do 400 times 30. So 4 times 3, 12. And then we've got 1, 2, 3 extra zeros. 1, 2, 3 extra zeros. So our answer is 12,000. And really, we should call this inches squared. And that is our answer. So this wraps up a rather lengthy video. Uh, typically our lesson ones are going to be a little lengthy on that. And uh, good luck. Hope you understand.